Before we begin the following program, we would like to say that, in our opinion, it is not suitable for children or those of you who are of a Marxist or misandrist disposition. Oh no. For God's sake! I don't like it. I know you don't. No. 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 But you can't rewrite history! Not one line! People spend all their time making nice things, and other people come along and break them. It's the end. You're the cause of this disaster! The overnights for War of the Potato Heads are in, and they're only 3.79 million. <laughs> 3.79 million, a mere 200,000 above the previous record overnight low of 3.5 million. And with four more episodes of Fuxed still to go, I wouldn't bet against them dipping below 3 million. The Shitaka shills will still spin it as a positive, but everybody knows the figures are not where Doctor Who should be. And we all know why, because Doctor Who is run by lefties, or being run into the ground by lefties. In the immortal words of Chris Gore, entertain me, don't lecture me. But then, if you believe that feminine is good and masculine is bad, then you probably believe that lecturing and guilt tripping works. Which it will, if you're a sheep and a coward, who would rather be cowled into submission than driven out of the tribe. The creative industries are a septic tank of spineless moral cowardice. When James Dreyfus got cancelled, nobody employed by Big Finish, we love virtual signalling, spoke out in his defence. Or John Barrowman's. Nobody. Why? Because they saw what happened to Peter Davison and they're terrified of it happening to them. Every actor currently working for Big Finish, we love virtual signalling should be ashamed of themselves, because by working for these spineless worms, they're in effect supporting the cancellation of a fellow actor. But of course, it'll never happen to them. Personally, I subscribe to the Malcolm Tucker School of Social Interaction when it comes to lefties, which is why fan alumni Jacqueline Rayner can fuck off. FUCK OFF! Her two-part DWM comic strip, The Forest Bride, concluded in the latest issue, 571, and the villain is, you guessed it, a man who imprisons women in trees, which concludes thus. The Bard, who's the unattractive male villain of the piece, the Bard got rid of any strong woman, haha, who might have threatened his power. The women who've returned, they're not weeping willows, they're mighty oaks. Fuck off. And what happens at the conclusion of the story? Well, this is what happens. So the bard, who is not exactly attractive, he's overweight, and he's surrounded by a bunch of extremely attractive women. You notice that none of them are overweight. And what do the sisterhood do? They take revenge, and they trap the man in the tree doing to him what he did to them. And there's your modern feminism right there. It's not about equality. It's about revenge. Gender revenge. And where was the pride doctor to say, no, take the moral high ground. Don't trap him in a tree like he trapped you in a tree. That makes you just as bad as him. No, the vagina doctor, the pride doctor, waltzes back off to the TARDIS with their girlfriend, Yaz. So there you go. There's modern feminism right there. So Jacqueline Rayner is a misandrist. And she can fuck off. Fuck off! And so can Marcus Hernia, the editor of DWM who okayed this bullshit. Someone else who can fuck off is a certain Shitka shill on YouTube, who I won't name, but we all know who he is, who recently put out a video attacking two other YouTubers, 
Now, I haven't been on YouTube very long, and really, I'm only here as pushback against the Samuel Davis types. But even I know that one of the basics of YouTube etiquette is that you don't put out YouTube videos criticising other YouTubers. But that didn't stop this twat from totally misrepresenting two gentlemen whose channels I watch regularly and enjoy. Mostly because they endure Jody shit is doctor, so I don't have to. Now, far be it from me to speak on these men's behalf. They are more than capable of defending themselves, but I will say this for my own conscience and peace of mind. Nobody gives a fuck about an actor's skin colour, their sexuality, or how many upper limbs they have. That's not objectionable. What is objectionable is the reason why they're on screen in the first place. They are not there because they were the best available actor who did the best audition and was most suited to the role. No, they're only there for no other reason than to tick a box and be diverse for the sake of it and suck Stonewall's flaccid dick. Until next time, stay grumpy. <laughs> if you're a lefty and have been affected by any of the issues raised in this program... FUCK OFF!